I'll show you how to make this infographic with Canva. It's free, there's a bunch of templates, plus it's fully customizable. We'll walk through choosing a template, designing your infographic, and some of the features that weren't exactly intuitive, but have really revolutionized my marketing content. Let's go. Hey friends, Joe Zeppelin here. Just a quick disclaimer, I am not sponsored by Canva. This tool is just incredibly useful and I think it can really help you out. All I ask in return is that you smash that like button and hit that subscribe button if you like to stay up to date on all things AI, business, and tech. It really helps us make more videos like this one in the future. Now let's get to it. Open up Canva by clicking the first link in the description. So here you're gonna see things at the bottom like documents, whiteboards, presentation, videos, prints. You can essentially design anything you want on Canva. But I found the best way to use Canva is to simply search what you're looking for. So let's go up to the search bar here and type in infographics and click the top one. Next, Canva is going to ask for your email. So just enter one of these email options here. Perfect. Now we can see all the different infographic templates. Now the template you choose depends on the infographic you intend to make. A sports infographic is going to look way different than a rock band or in our instance, a coffee shop. That's the infographic we're going to be designing today. So what I like to do is go up to the search bar here and make your search just a little bit more specific. So instead of infographic, let's search for a coffee infographic and perfect. These look much better for what we're looking for. Now note some of the Canva templates are going to have this little gold crown in the bottom right corner. That means it's a paid feature. So what I like to do is find a template that doesn't have a crown. Those are all free templates. So let's go ahead and just choose this first one here and start designing it. Fantastic. So this opened up our Canva editor. So here we're going to be able to start editing our infographic. For instance, you can just select the title here and change it to what you want your infographic to be about. So let's call it craft your signature coffee. Now, awesome. Now underneath that, it looks like we have a little spot for a motto. So let's put uh, our motto can be brewed your way every day. Now you'll see at the bottom, we have a place to add our website or our company name. So let's scroll down there and our coffee shop. We're making an infographic today is going to be called Espresso Yourself Coffee. And now down here, you can see our company name is at the bottom of the infographic. The reason I like Canva so much is it's so easy to modify it to fit your need. For instance, we can change the color here just by selecting the text and changing the color. I normally like to match these to my own personal color schemes. You can even go through and change the color of some of these little icons. So let's go through and fast forward this, but I'm gonna change number one, two, three, and four, all to be the same color as the text above. You can even do this with the icons. So let's go ahead and select the coffee beans and make it this cool green color. And then with these photos on the side, that's where Canva gets incredibly helpful. So one option is you can just go to the left side and select elements and here you're gonna see all the different graphics that come up for a coffee business. So you can simply just drag and drop these onto your infographic as you need. The other option is if you like the images that are on your screen, you can change those images specifically. We can select the coffee cup and change the colors. We can select the woman and change the colors. The coffee machine the coffee bag, and then the coffee cup at the bottom, right? All this is fully customizable. The next two steps of creating an infographic are the most important steps in the process. One is what do you want your message to convey? So I'm gonna fast forward this bit right here, but we're gonna use the numbers one through five to walk someone through the process of crafting their own signature coffee. And while we go through and do this, YouTube analytics shows that less than 1% of people who watch videos on the channel are actually subscribed. Since we release content every Monday on all things AI, business, and tech, go ahead and consider subscribing by clicking that button in the bottom right corner, you simply just get a notification when we create a video like this one on how to make a digital business card for your business. This is our newest video on the channel and the way it's growing right now, it's probably gonna be our most popular video on the channel. But if that type of content interests you, go ahead and consider subscribing. Now let's get back to our infographic. Perfect, now that our text is entered, this infographic is starting to look really professional. Now we're gonna add our last feature that I think every infographic should have. It's very important to have this here, which is a call to action. So let's go ahead and use a free QR code to bring them to that specific action. So let's go to uploads on the far left corner. Here you're going to see I have a QR code already populated. We're not going to go through how to create the free QR code in this video. There's going to be a video right up here and a link in the description on how to do that. But once it's created, you can simply drag it and drop it onto the canvas. Then we're going to go through and resize it. Let's make an order now button and let's put it above the QR code, align it a little better and center it. And now someone's gonna go through, see our infographic, look at steps one through five, say, great, I wanna order a coffee. And perfect, they can scan the QR code and order that coffee. Awesome, now that your infographic is created, let's look at the best way to share it. There's a free way and a paid way to do this. The paid option is where you get your infographic professionally printed by Canva. You can select print with Canva up here, and then you can see all the different options you can select in terms of quality and quantity. But what I like to do is always look for the free solutions. So to do this the free way, what you wanna do is go up to the top and select the 
share button. Then you're gonna wanna select download. Now you'll see it has a preferred file type, which is a PDF print. You don't wanna use that one, not for infographics. They have too much detail. What you really wanna do is scroll down for the one that says JPEG and select it here. Then just simply scroll down to the download button. Now you'll see this infographic is downloaded onto our computer to share however you please. If you wanna learn how to create this free QR code and you found enjoyment out of this video, I need your help with three simple steps. One, like this video if you enjoyed it. Two, consider subscribing to stay up to date on all things AI, business, and tech. And three, go watch this video on how to make a digital business card. It's our hottest trending video on the channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.